They were in Keddington, a large village in Suffolk where there have been reports of apparitions and disembodied voices. What will we discover tonight when we investigate an abandoned mental hospital and the graveyard? Back in the mid 1800s, a workhouse was built in Keddington to house the old, young, unemployed and disabled. All those unable to support themselves were sent to live here, work here and die here. The conditions in the workhouse were extremely poor. Young boys were often beaten and women and children were starved, sometimes for days. The workhouse itself was demolished over 70 years ago. In its place, a housing estate in a hospital for mentally ill patients was built. Over the years there have been reports of strange goings on in some of the houses on the estate including disembodied voices, black shadow figures and full bodied apparitions. People claim to have heard the voice of an old lady and a little girl coming from over here by the swing. Are the spirits from the Risbridge Hospital or the much earlier workhouse? Hopefully tonight we'll get some answers. Just having a look around um, the Risbridge Hospital where we're filming and just found this old shed over here. As you can see there's just tons of like old stuff lying around. No. Really cool. That Christmas box over there. It's like old mattresses and uh, suitcases lying around everywhere as well. Uh, really creepy place. At night people say they see shadows darting around the ground here. We'll be able to catch these strange phenomena on camera. Find out tonight. The second place we'll be investigating is the Kennington Graveyard. Lots of people have experienced things here in the Kennington Graveyard, including sudden emotions of fear and anger. It's said that every night at 9pm, an elderly lady appears over there, accompanied by a phantom cat, and chases anyone out of the graveyard who's in here. Poltergeist activity has been reported inside the church, including objects being thrown and moved. We won't have access to inside the church tonight, but we'll do our best to communicate with the entities that are within the stone walls. As darkness fell, I decided to begin the investigation. You come and bring all your energy around the grey box. No, Try and make the lights yeah. flash. This box I'm holding in my left hand if you come up and talk to it, we'll be able to hear your voice, but shout as loudly as you can. The chair looks oddly clean. Yeah. There's someone here. Can you come up to this little grey box? Try and touch it.
thank you very much if you're here this box in my left hand can you come and talk into it please and speak as loudly as you can we just captured our first piece of evidence that night straight after the EMF meter went off a device that picks up on electromagnetic energy something ghosts have to be made up of we captured a voice here's what I believe it's saying this box in my left hand can you come and talk into it please Speak as loudly as you can. We just made contact with you there a minute ago. We heard your voice. We heard you talk. Can you come up to the camera and can you show yourself, please? Because we think you're here. Show yourself in front of that camera there that Chloe's holding. Have been interesting. I'm dying, by the way. I don't know. Are you dying? Yeah. They're old batteries there, they're not Where dying. Where do you think about did it come? Where were you standing? Here. here Liter which literally way were you here. Facing? This like way? That. Yeah, just like that. Towards the shed. Next, we decided to use a spirit box, a device that rapidly scans through radio frequencies. It's said that spirits and ghosts can use these frequencies to talk to us. Can you come over and talk to us using this box? I heard something. Is that right? Yeah. Can you tell us your name? I'm going to turn this box on here. I'm going to turn it on, it'll pump out some energy. You can use this to try and communicate with us. What is your name? Can you come and talk to us through this box? Can you say anything through here? After receiving no voices through the spirit box, we decided to use the Ouija board. It said ghosts can use this board to spell out words for us to read. I put it down. Can you tell us your name? After receiving nothing through the Ouija board, we decided to go out and try to communicate with the spirits of Risbridge one last time before leaving. If anyone's here, please can you try and touch this little grey box with my hand? It won't hurt you in any way at all. Can you try and do it again, please? Do you, do you want us to stay here? Do you want us to go? You can keep feeding off my energy. Just try and touch the grey box with my hand again, please.
Whilst Carl was getting unexplained spikes on the EMF meter, I thought I heard someone whistle. You can see my reaction as I quickly turned the camera around to point in the direction from where it came from. Just one more time. Do you hear that? It's a beeping. No, a whistle. This time the camera's audio managed to capture the whistle. Here it is again. You can feed off my energy, just try as hard as you can please to touch this grey box in my hand. It won't hurt you in any way. That noise, that happened twice. What noise? Didn't you hear it? Oh, no. That whistle, it, yeah. it happened twice. I know, I keep on hearing it. That's way back there. Yeah. If you're whistling, can you whistle again, please? What Chloe points out next is absolutely extraordinary. Didn't you hear yourself as we came out? You yes. came along whistling. Yes. So, could it be copying you? I haven't if thought of that. Possess you. I have brains. <laughs> oh. Sh <laughs> shit. <laughs> yeah. Did you? As we were. Yeah, I remember. Yeah, we were recording over there, and I was thinking, why the hell? I was going to say, why the hell are you whistling? And you came along whistling. Yeah. Yeah. And it's walking up and down whistling. Well, walking, we should we say? But it's coming from around here whistling. Well, it's strange in some way. Yeah, but he's whistling from over there. Yeah. He stopped when we went over there. Yeah. And he's not whistling over there. He's whistling over that way. And that's why Luke was whistling. What's strange is I was whistling on the exact same part of the road where we heard the whistling coming from. Although we have no footage of this, we all remember me doing this. Could it be that the spirit here was copying me whistling? After receiving no more activity in Risbridge Hospital, we decided to go over to the graveyard to begin our investigation there. If you're here, and we've made contact with you before here, we've even recorded your voice, can you come and talk to us? This box I'm holding now should detect you if you bring your energy around it. This other box will be able to hear your voice if you come and talk into it really loudly. As loud as you can. Please come and talk into it. Try as hard as you can to touch this box. I can feel them below my eyes. Can you try as hard as you can, please, to touch this box and make the lights go on? You can feed off my energy. So, whereabouts were you? We were right over there. Just near where the lights Try and are. stretch out and the lights. get your energy In around there. this as much as you can. How faint did it sound to you? Cause it was pretty Nothing was happening while we were in a big group, so I decided to split up in twos. Me and Connor would go to one part of the graveyard, and Chloe and Carl would stay in the other to try and communicate with the spirits. Is there someone here? Come in to try and talk to you and see if you want any help or anything, or if you want us to go away. We have come here lots of times before. We think we might have made contact with you before. So we'd like you to do it again, please. Try and talk to us. But this little box in my left hand, a little grey box, it won't hurt you in any way. It's just to let us know that you're here. What? 
I heard them screaming or something. Do you want to go back quick? No, I heard them. Quickly run. Although the camera's audio didn't pick it up, both Connor and I thought we heard Carl and Chloe screaming. What's strange is Chloe thought she heard me talking whilst we were in a completely different part of the graveyard. Could this be that the spirits were trying to mess with our minds while we were on our own and vulnerable? Seeing as we received most of the activity when we were in smaller groups, we decided to split up and go on our own. First of all, Carl volunteered to go off with the spirit box and try and make contact. Okay, if there's anyone here, please can you try and speak into this box I've got? Try and shout as loudly as you can into this box. Can you say your name, please? Can you say your name? Shout as loudly as you can. Say your name, please. You can feed off my energy. Is that your name? Sorry. I can't. I can't. I can't. You can't what? Oh, it's that radio. Hello? If you need help or anything, please say. Shout as loudly as you can if you want help or if you want to send a message. as loudly as you can. Do you want me to leave you? How many people are with me right now? Do you need help of any sort? Are you shouting, screaming for help? Funny. Me? This voice is absolutely incredible. It's almost as if a spirit is telling us to mind the dead and not step on the graves that are on the ground. After a while, Carl returned with lots of great evidence, and we decided that I should go and try to communicate with the spirits. Can you just say help? You just say help. So I will try and help you if you need help. Who out of all of us here do you like the best? Say my name. Say my name, I just heard you. Thank you very much for saying my name. Can you tell me your name? Everyone has a name. What's yours? Are you in?
same pain. For anyone who doesn't believe the spirit box works, we just had a swear word come through. Swearing is not allowed on the radio, which leaves one explanation for this. We also got a voice that said, go away afterwards. It almost sounds like a spirit is threatening us. I can help you as well. And with that done, we decided to conclude our investigation in Keddington. And we can now say, Keddington definitely is haunted. <laughs>